Well, hello, and welcome back to Idol Kingdom Defense. So today, 17275, and of course, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and you know what? Make sure to ring that bell while you're there. So yes, we're headed to King's Ruin. I'll turn the sound on now. And I just wanted to get started while I gave my little intro there, and let's go. So, I mean, this is going to be an AoE stage. I found that starting at stage 5 seems to be the best balance in terms of um, uh, the video duration. Um, I don't want it to... I, I, I want to keep it light. Keep it light, keep it fun, you know? A long-ass King's Ruin video as well. You don't need to do the daily twice now, do you? Of course, the goal of this is, of course, for you to play along with me. That's the whole reason we do this. Fire up your game, get into King's Ruin, and we can have a little race. See who wins. I'll even let you start at stage 5 if you want. And that's always been the goal. And obviously, like this stage, no question, this is... the These stages are where Marion shines. And I've said that before, I'll say it again, I'll say it a third time. These stages are where Marion shines. And I feel like there's no shame in my game when I say that. These, this, and catapults too. Catapults and cannons. Catapults can and cannons. I think are the only ones. Yeah. I mean, again, it's such, it's so powerful to see Marion just decimate these catapults. She almost one shot. This is what I'm really gonna miss when we push. Marion just like destroying the stage like this, because I know it's gonna take us a while to get there again. Uh. I have to see what my calculations tell me how we get there. You know? I actually don't have any calculations, but I assume that if we are doing this much damage here, and let's see. Like I said, I think it doubles about every thousand levels. We're looking at 2 to the 7th, which is 18. Yeah. 7. Um. That's 64. Oh no. Don't tell me I'm gonna need to get to like level 64,000 artifacts. That's a long way to away. And that's Rune 8. No, I think it's 128, isn't it? Mm, yeah, because 8 is, um, 8 would be uh, 256. So, yeah. I'm going to have to 128 times uh, Marion's damage to get the same performance I was getting. Which means her attack? I don't even know. I have to, I, I'm going to have to, you know, look at it more objectively and make sure I'm not misdoing the... Because of the way the artifacts work, they, are ge they do grow geometrically, but... Doubling both of my artifacts, I think, just doubles my damage, and I have to check that. So, like, if if every everyone, it's close enough that every level is one percent, right? So, one hundred percent and one hundred percent. I mean, so level one hundred, level one hundred is is one hundred or one hundred, and that's four x. You go from one hundred to two hundred, and that's nine x, right? So, two hundred would be times three, times three times three, nine. You go to four. Four, 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 or for 300, which is tripling your input, you're going to 16x. Then it, it goes up the same way. So maybe it won't be as bad as I think. I'll have to check. And let's get our buffs. Buffity buffs. I'll have to see... Um, Right now, so we'll be at 1,200, which would be 13 times 13, so basically uh, one, uh, six, six, uh, 169. So to get 128 times 169, that's a, that's a big number. Uh-oh. Oh, right, I won't be able to do it. 
Oh well, you win again. No. At least I say that's what I think it is. You know, I haven't had anybody. Oh, oh shoot, we forgot to use the buffs. Well, we'll have to use them. Not on an AOE stage, on the stage after. That's my fault, too. I'm sitting here trying to do some math and I forgot to use the buffs. The buffs were there, they were waiting, they were calling me. They were calling me to use them. And I didn't. What was I thinking? Oh well. I saw an interesting TikTok about somebody who, how did the world work before the internet? My best example of, like, if you wanted to know how, like, people got together for a movie is a great example. Um, there's an episode of Seinfeld. And I think it's season three, episode 14, and it's called The Movie. And you can actually watch how a dysfunctional group of people made plans to meet up at a location and then it just all fell apart. And that's an amazing, like, time, like, it's an amazing to me time capsule for people that don't understand. Wait, I did use it. What was, what was I thinking? All right, that's fine. It, to me, it's an amazing and a timeless piece to answer some of the questions of how did people do things before phones were widespread. And, like, phone, like, text messaging was, like, the two. Like, we'll say mid-2000s. iPhone was, I think, 2007. So, I mean, yeah, it was only 15 years ago. Yeah, like, maybe 20 years ago before cell phones became widespread. And I don't think they were widespread, but they were coming, becoming widespread. It's crazy to think about how much has changed. But the one thing I'll say is, the one thing I have noticed is there's this Middleton study. And it's a funny study about how nothing ever changes. And in a way, I think it's really true. That, like, a lot of people overhype the changes to society. You can look it up. It's a Middletown study. They basically did it. And, like, the big revolution for them was, of course, radio. How radio... But, I mean, you go back in time, like, um, so great faded books. Because books meant you didn't have to, you wouldn't share knowledge orally. You'd read it. But that's a story for another time. So, let's see how we did here. Marion, 63%. Christian's still holding in there, 34%. Hey, Vincent. You did it. You're the king of 1%. That's great to see. And finally, Daniel is the king of 0%. So, pretty typical results. But, that said, as always, once again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And, as always, thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.